Sir? Sir, I'm, I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. I don't know how I got here. Can you? Hey, excuse me, sir, I just need... Please, sir. I mean no harm. I need help. Why do you follow me? Have you seen the High Pygon Emperor's personal squire? I seem to have misplaced him. Say, what are you? Why do you look strange? What is happening? Over here! I'm over here! Oh, don't be careful. There's some mud. Oh, this is ridiculous. Wait. What are you? Ah! This might come in handy. Guess that's how you fire.
Cuthbert? Wait, this is Eggbeard River Hollow, but it looks so different. Halt! This road is off limits. It is not on limits. You are limited to anywhere that is not this road. Hang on! I've got you! Aunt Belle? Don't worry. How did I get here? What's happening? to the village horn and sort this all out. You stay on the walkway, Aunt Belle. It will be safer. I'll take the low road and protect you. Brave lad. But how did you come to be out here in the middle of the night? I don't know. I woke up in a tower. I think it was the Cuthbert Library Tower, but it... It seems so old, like a ruin. Aunt Belle, do you not remember anything? The last thing I remember is planting turnips. You were, it's hard to explain. Just now, you were a behemoth, a colossus. Horn, what are you talking about? You tried to hurt me. I, I had to fight you. I did not know it was you, but then you changed back into yourself. I think it has something to do with this strange crystal I found. I know little of dark magic, but I wonder... If you released me from the form of a demon, had you similar form? And if so, how did you come to your own release? Horn experienced flashes of memory, of being something huge. Horn, what's happening down there? My way is blocked. The arch has been bricked up. There's a lever here. It's rusted, but I think I can... Ugh. Aunt Belle, what do you know of that shrine? I remember hearing silly stories of magical songs. I'm going to investigate. Maybe there's something in there that can help us. Horn, be careful.
Horn realized that though he could not sing, he did carry with him a strange artifact that just might be able to produce music. <laughs> I'll meet you on the other side of the pass horn. Unhand me, foul beast. How are you alive? You're just ahead. I am Pygon. Pygon, do not live. Pygon cannot die. Life and death are curses from the mother. First creature... It's a ruin. Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> the head horn had collected had a laugh that sounded like a stone being choked to death. <laughs> what is it you find so funny? There's no one here to respond to your cries, boy. There's no one anywhere. Enough of your nonsense. I will undo the Pygon curse, and you will help me. Then why would I help you? Because if you do not, I will find a deep, dark hole and chuck you in it, where no one will ever find you. You wouldn't. If you're no use to me, why wouldn't I? Oh, very well. Your goal is to find the true source of Pygon power. As it happens, that source is the very thing that can give me a new body. So, I will help you find it, you red lob of water, because you are the only thing that can help me. Apparently, I am. I don't know. Let's ignore it. How do I enter? 
You cannot without sufficient pylon power. And how do I acquire this power? We use this power for our work and store it in red eggs we call seeds. And I will seek these seeds. But Gord, mother help you if you are lying to me. I've no use for the mother or her help. You wanted my counsel and I've given it. Do as you will, but please put me down somewhere safe. Oh no. Until my quest is done, where I go, you go. Hmm. If I'm going out to face danger, I'm going to need a better weapon than this rusted old sword. <laughs> 